Next up is the HOK Minor League Executive of the Year Award presented tonight. And for that, we introduce Chris Lamberth of HOK to come on up here and do that. Thank you. At HOK, we're blessed to design a lot of ballparks and stadiums across the country. And uh, growing up in Southern California, I've been blessed to uh, observe, participate, and engage in a whole variety of baseball products from college to minor leagues and major leagues. So very personal to me uh, growing up in Orange County, if you could survive the drive on the 91 freeway and hustle down the 15 and, and get to Lake Elsinore, uh, I was blessed to see a lot of the fruits of uh, the recipient of this award, the minor league executive of the year, uh, Dave Oster, and, his, and what they did and what he was especially a part of down there in Lake Elsinore. Uh, now, as a father, love to bring my kids down there. Uh, my nephew uh, played minor league baseball in Temecula and was able to benefit from a lot of his community programs. The storm was really great in supporting the community. Dave was always there. Of course, I didn't really recognize him tonight because he's always usually wearing the ball cap with the famous eye of the storm on, uh, which is a great logo. And, and you've been there 15 years, and we've had a real good time in my family and making a great experience for everyone. So I think it's a part of the sport, part of minor leagues, Dave, we appreciate all you do. So come on up. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, wow, this is pretty cool. Thank you, Baseball America. This uh, actually comes at an appropriate time for me as I'm actually stepping away from the storm after uh, 16 seasons. So not bad to walk away with an MVP on your free agent year. So thanks again, Baseball America, Will Lingo, for all the years that you've been there, Josh Leventhal for writing a, a great story, uh, making me look way better than what I am. But it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a wonderful time. And, uh, in Lake Elsinore and uh, really thankful for the San Diego Padres uh, for their support for a 15 year partnership. Todd Stevenson for being here tonight. Thank you for doing that and uh, being a big part of our run that we've had in Lake Elsinore and, and, the, and the success that we've had. Uh, also of course to the Lake Elsinore storm, um, to the owners Gary Jacobs and Len Simon who've been uh, very giving owners and very great to work for. They've been given us and entrusted us the ability to work with, uh, with the community and, and able to give back and grow the, the eyes and the brand that what we've had and given us the opportunity to do that. So very thankful for their, for their guidance and, and what they've done here. And also to my staff that's here tonight, Raj, Tim, Donna, greatly appreciate it. Thank you for, uh, for your support, for your love, for the family that we are, that uh, this is truly a, a team award. I'm very lucky to be recognized for it, but we've got a great family in Lake Elsinore, and after all those years, the blood, sweat, and tears that goes involved in, in making a team work and be successful, uh, at the end of the day, it's really the, the love that we share there as a family and with, the, with what we have and what baseball is all about, bringing that community together, bringing a team together, and being a part of that. Um, also here tonight, my dad, Jim Oster. Thanks, Dad, for all the guidance, the work ethic that you taught me, and and the love that you've provided me for all those years. So it's great that you're here tonight. Uh, also to my mom, who I, I miss dearly every day. But I, I remember the, uh, the first year that I got, a, I got a job in baseball and told her how much I was making. And she reached back and gave me that stink eye going, you went to college to earn this. And uh, she, she would always kind of, she'd always give me, give me a little bit of hell coming home because my first gig in, was in Geneva in short season. And uh, I would, you'd, you'd get sent home for a couple months because, you know, there wasn't as much to do in short season. So I'd go home and pour concrete. And uh, as she would say, I'd be home to make, to support my baseball habit because I'd make more money in a couple months pouring concrete than I was in, uh, in, in Geneva in, in baseball. But uh, I'm real grateful for this game. And remember the first time walking through the Lowe's Anatole with a ragtag bag. And um, first thing about not even 100 yards into the hotel is, I see Hank Aaron 
uh, Tommy Lasorda and Billy Martin all standing right there, and this little snot-nosed kid from Manaway, Ohio, kind of looking around going, man, I am not in Manaway, Ohio anymore, Toto. So total just uh, culture shock and actually walked out of there uh, thanks to Ken Shepard and Geneva Cubs for my first gig in baseball, and ever since then with stops in Wilmington, Salem, and then, of course, Lake Elsinore. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a magical ride and uh, been a lot of fun. Um, you know, I actually got in the, into the game for, for the love of the game, but uh, in doing so and running baseball clubs and being all a part of it, what you truly find is how much you can be involved in the community, the great people that you meet along the way, and, and really what, uh, you know, coming in is just kind of a, a baseball player, fanatic, fan. It, I uh, was able to uh, fill my baseball habit along the way and understand that how much you could get involved in the community and you can really give back. And so what I'm grateful for is learning how to do that on the way and you know, all the people that I got to meet and the things I got to do just because of this, uh, this silly game. But thank you again for the recognition.